Welcome to this special video featuring two of the most powerful prayers from Psalm 91 and Psalm 23. These timeless verses have brought comfort, strength, and assurance to countless individuals throughout history, and we invite you to join us as we delve into their profound meaning and significance. In Psalm 91, we find solace in the promise of God's protection and provision. As we recite these sacred words, we are reminded of the unwavering love and care that surrounds us, shielding us from harm and guiding us through life's challenges. Psalm 23, often referred to as the Shepherd's Psalm, paints a beautiful picture of God's tender care and guidance. As we journey through its, through its verses, we are invited to rest in the comforting presence of our Shepherd, who leads us beside still waters and restores our souls. Together, these two prayers form a powerful testament to the faithfulness of God and His enduring presence in our lives. So sit back, relax, and let the words of these ancient psalms wash over you, filling you with peace, hope, and renewed strength. Welcome to a moment of reflection, inspiration, and spiritual upliftment as we explore the depths of Psalm 91 and Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, 
nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He causes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. You will not fear the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. You will not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday, Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He causes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord, he alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. 
he will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. You will not fear the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. You will not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels and to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Almighty and everlasting God, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Under the shadow of your wings I find my rest, and in your presence I am secure. You are the Most High, the Almighty, and in you I place my confidence. No terror of the night nor the arrows of the day shall harm me for you are my protector and my shield. I dwell in your shelter, O Lord, and abide in your shadow. You are my refuge and my fortress, my stronghold in times of trouble. I will not fear the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that devastates at noonday. For you have promised to deliver me from all harm and to keep me safe from every danger. Your angels surround me, O God, to guard me in all my ways. They lift me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I tread upon the lion and the cobra and trample the serpent underfoot. No evil shall befall me, no plague come near my tent. For you, O Lord, are my refuge and my fortress. With long life you satisfy me and show me your salvation. You are my rock and my salvation, my strength and my song. I will call upon you, O Lord, and you will answer me. You will be with me in trouble and deliver me from every foe. You will make me the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. You will bless me abundantly and make me a blessing to others. I will dwell in your house forever and praise your name for all eternity. For you are my God and I will exalt you above all. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep. You're going out and you're coming in from this time forth and forevermore. I will dwell in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. 
You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. O Lord my God, in you I place my trust, and for you alone are my rock and my salvation. You are my fortress and my deliverer, my refuge and my strength. In times of trouble you are my shield, and in times of need you are my provider. I will look to you, O Lord, for you are the source of all my help. Though the mountains may tremble, and the earth may shake, I will not be afraid. For you are with me, O God. You are my hiding place, my shelter in the storm. I will abide in your presence, and find peace in your embrace. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, and for your unfailing love. I will praise you with all my heart and worship you with all my soul. You are worthy of all honor and glory, for you alone are the Almighty God. I will trust in you always and lean not on my own understanding. Lead me, O Lord, in your paths of righteousness and guide me in your ways. Let your light shine upon me and illuminate the darkness. For you are my hope and my salvation, my strength and my song. I will praise you, O Lord, for you have done great things for me. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will lift my voice in praise and worship you forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and grace and for your steadfast love. I will rejoice in you always and give thanks for all your blessings. You are my rock and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer. I will trust in you with all my heart and lean not on my own understanding. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and for your never-ending love. I will praise you with all my being and exalt your holy name. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I will bow down before you and worship you in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness and for your great love. I will sing of your praises forever and declare your faithfulness to all generations. You are my hiding place and my shield, my refuge and my fortress. I will trust in you always and praise your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for your protection and for your constant care. I will lift my voice in praise and worship you with all my heart. You are the God of all creation, the Alpha and the Omega. I will praise you forevermore and declare your greatness to all the earth Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and for your never-ending love. 
I will trust in you always and lean not on my own understanding. You are my rock and my salvation, my fortress and my deliverer. I will praise you with all my heart and worship you with all my soul. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and grace and for your steadfast love. I will rejoice in you always and give thanks for all your blessings. You are my hiding place and my shield, my refuge and my fortress. I will trust in you always and praise your holy name. The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As we come to the end of this uplifting journey through the powerful prayers of Psalm 91 and Psalm 23, we want to thank you for joining us. We hope these sacred words have touched your heart and inspired you on your spiritual path. If you enjoyed this video and found it meaningful, we invite you to subscribe to our channel for more uplifting content like this. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with our latest videos and be part of our growing community of faith and inspiration. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it resonated with you. Your likes and comments not only encourage us, but also help others discover this message of hope and encouragement. And lastly, don't forget to turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so you never miss out on new videos. We look forward to journeying with you further on this path of faith and spiritual growth. Thank you again for watching, subscribing, and being a part of our community. Until next time, may you be blessed with peace, love, and light in abundance. Take care. And God bless.